This is the fourth part of our video on understanding the equation of a line. So the next part of our question says, which of the following graphs is y equals 3x plus 2? Explain. So I have three graphs here, and I had to draw them, so they're not perfect, but they're okay. They'd be better on your handout. Um, and we want to try to figure out which one is y equals 3x plus 2. So we have learned so far that in the equation of a line, there are two parts. There's the part next to the x, which is the slope. And there's the part not next to the x, which is our y-intercept. So the slope tells us how to get from one point to the next. And the y-intercept tells us where the line is going to cross the y-axis. So when I'm trying to pick a graph, the easiest place to start is probably with the y-intercept. So I want to look for a graph that crosses the y-axis at 2. So if I look at this one, it crosses the y-axis at 2. If I look at this one, it crosses the y-axis at 3, which means it is not graph number 2. If I look at this one, it also crosses at 2. So it could be this one, it could be this one, because they both have a y-intercept of 2. Now the next part is to use the slope. So for our slope, slope is usually a fraction, um, and 3 doesn't look like a fraction to me. But 3 is secretly the number 3 over 1. So if you don't see a denominator, they always have a secret denominator of 1. Um, and when we were doing our investigation, we noticed that the number on the top moves it up and down. The number on the bottom moves it side to side. So I'm looking for something that's going to go up 3 and over 1. So if I look at my first one, I'm going 1, 2, 3 up and 1 over, and I'm still on the line. And then 1, 2, 3, up, 1, over, and I'm still on the line. If I look at this one, if I go 1, 2, 3, up, and 1, over, I am not on that line, which means it is not line number 2. So our winner is, I believe it's called A, uh, is going to be line A. So I'm going to write um, line A is y equals 3x plus 2. And then it wants me to explain my reasoning. So how did we know? Well, it crossed the y-axis at 2. So I'm going to say it crosses the y-axis at 2, which matches our y-intercept. So which matches the y-intercept of 2. Now that helped me narrow it down to these two. And then from there, I used the slope. So it had to go up 3 and over 1. So I'm going to say uh, it also goes up 3 and over 1. to get to the next point which matches the slope of 3. So we picked line A because it had the right y-intercept it crossed the y-axis at 2, and it had the right slope. It was going 3 squares up and 1 square over. And that's all we need to know today about exploring the equation of a line.